Valve just love to throw a curveball at us from time to time and their most recent one was putting RMR capsules on a 75% discount. I hope that most of you either didn't start investing yet or at least was awake at the time of the announcement to sell his expensive gold stickers. In this video I'll just give my initial thoughts on the sale, what it could possibly mean for the future of the investment and of the sticker market as a whole. While we talk a little, enjoy me getting absolutely nothing in my 5 euro capsule opening in the background. Now as we talk about the sale, the overall question we should keep in the back of our minds is this. Is RMR a bad investment now? One thing is for sure, it's a worse investment now than it was yesterday. Why? Well I for example will be investing into a few hundred of each capsule and I can promise you I will by far not be the only one. The amount of capsules and storage units after all this is over will be astonishing. With these capsules being the cheapest team sticker capsules in a long time, everyone, their mamas and their mamas mamas will pick up at least a few dozens of these. In fact, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think only the Kato 14 team capsules were as cheap as these. Okay, let's look at what actually occurred today. Wealth put the capsules on the discount and then posted this on their blog as well. In the post titled The Road to Stockholm 2021, they not only announced the discount but also acknowledged the start of RMR 2021 events. As I expected, their 2020 RMR capsules will not outlive the start of the new events, so this leaves us with one big question. How long will the capsules be on sale? Wealth say they will announce the event dates over the next several days. So for how long this sale might go, we could see these get pulled as Wealth make their next announcement announcement, possibly this Friday, or they could pull them once RMR 2021 events kick off. According to this post that I showed in my last video, events will be held in May. I sure as hell don't hope and don't think we will see these on discount for a month. When it comes to the potential that is left in this investment, a lot of it is still tied to how long the sale will actually last. Because with every day that these remain on sale, more will be bought as investments and, especially considering how cheap they are right now, more will be opened, resulting in even more ridiculous supply. And with the amount of supply that these will have, plus with the stickers across the board being dirt cheap now, I wonder how this will affect sticker prices from previous majors. And more importantly, how it will affect the upcoming Stockholm major. Will sales for wealth be affected? If not that, Will the actual demand for both of these sticker collections be affected? Is Wealth going to release similar capsules for Stockholm where they go on sale for 20 cents again, just like with the player autograph capsules? Or will the RMR style of team capsule be a one and done, a result of the circumstances it released in? These are all questions that we will not get answers to until October, where hopefully the Stockholm Major should start. It's still entirely possible that Valve added the structure to the RMR team capsules in order to push sales after a year where no Major took place. Plus, we didn't have so souvenir packages this year, where we would usually get our hands on Team Gold stickers, albeit on skins. So was the Team Gold sticker just another incentive uniquely tied to the RMR capsule, or is it going to be an item regularly featured in future major capsules from now on? Because if they are not, then the RMR investments as a whole are still very much viable investments. If gold stay exclusive to this capsule, which I doubt by the way, capsules would have very high demand just because people would want to unbox those Team Golds, which would combat the amount of supply of them out there right now. Again, a lot of questions, very few answers at this point. First thing we can do though is take a look at how sticker prices from other majors are affected in the next few days. I expect many of them to drop but that is yet to be determined. So do I think you should still invest into RMR and do I think they will still give good returns? Yes, yes I do. Even with Berlin capsules which included some of the ugliest and most undesirable stickers we have ever gotten and which were the most over invested in, we can still see very good returns across the board. If you sold at the right time you could see 400% returns. Even if you didn't, you still can get almost double your money on items that not many people really want right now. So with these RMR capsules, even if millions upon millions will now be in existence, you should still see solid returns over time with these. Does the sale make it more of a long-term investment? Yes. Does it make it a bad investment? No. See, what makes these capsules unique, especially for the next 5-6 to six months that we got left before the next major items will most likely be released, is that it has those desirable and very rare gold team sticker items in them, which has it standing out over every other recent major team capsule. And even if team gold stickers return in future majors, these stickers will be known as the first of their kind, at least unattached to souvenir skins. I obviously can't predict the future, I mean I didn't even get my prediction on these capsules right, but if the undesirable Berlin capsules go up in price like that, there is no reason for why the RMR capsules shouldn't. As these are discontinued, we might even see 100% returns over the summer, as we for example did with Berlin capsules before the summer hype kicked in. 
content. But for more than that, I'd give these capsules at least a year or two to show their true potential. But due to the uncertainty surrounding this investment, I would definitely advise you all not to go all in on it. Keep some of your funds for Broken Fang, Case Investments and the Stockholm Major. As for which RMR items you should invest in, I don't think you can go wrong with capsules here. The buy-in price is very cheap now and they will keep rising over time. I have gone over the factors that will determine the future potential of these, so keep those in mind when making your decision. I'm not really a fan of guessing which capsules will give the best returns of the three, so I personally would always suggest to get some of each, and if you really want to gamble on the strongest performer, use your best personal judgement. As for stickers, I would advise you to get your buy orders in for 3 cents on these paper stickers as soon as you can. At 3 cents, they can only go up even if it will be a slow climb. I've shown this in my last video but even the most undesirable autograph stickers from Berlin 2019 have seen 3 or 4x returns and over time the same profits should be had with these paper stickers. I have a video coming up where I look at some of the RMR stickers that have been applied so far. Maybe that will help you with your decision making but one thing I can say for sure is that there definitely has been demand for these so far. You can of course go for hollows and foils as well and when it comes to golds I would wait it out and see how far prices fall over the next couple days and try and buy them at the lowest points. As with the investment in general, the potential for these is heavily dependent on future major capsules but just like with Krakow 2017 which introduced player gold stickers, these RMR golds should have additional value to them long term for the fact that they are the first of their kind. But we will talk about the RMR investment in a bit more detail once the capsules are discontinued and we can get the numbers on how often these were purchased. As always, thanks for watching, have a good one.